Hello and welcome to this training module on SharePoint Online. The topic for this video is going to be what do I do if I think I'm missing files from SharePoint? So I've already got SharePoint Online up and running. So the first question that you would ask yourself is which SharePoint site would it be in? Uh, if you don't know, uh, that's okay. If you click on the home button over here for SharePoint, it will bring you to this screen. And you'll see that pop right back up here in just a second. And what you can do is when this screen opens, you can do a search for your file name. So for instance, we will do a search for uh, MP4 video. So I'm going to do star.mp4 which is going to be a video file, and I can hit enter. And what should pop up is, as this search runs, it should pop up all the videos uh, that are in MP4 format. Uh, that's if I knew what kind of file type it was. Let's say I knew it was about Teams, so I could back this out and I could do team meeting and hit enter and this will bring up all the documents around team meetings and this is going to bring up videos this is going to bring up uh, powerpoints word documents anything that has a uh, team meeting either in the body of the document or in the metadata or in the title. So this is a way that I can help search. Now the search will go faster if you know what site it should have landed in. Now if for instance um, you have verified that the file is not there, what can you do? Well you can go to the specific site. In this case, I will go to Piedmont Technical Experts here. And then I can go into Documents. And it'll take it just a second to open up. And once inside Documents, then I can go further down and find the folder where I actually want to put my file. So let's say it's in sales and we'll come down here to videos, oh, past it. And we'll click on videos and now I have the option to do upload and I can do files or I can do folders or I can even upload a template. So if I select files, it'll open up your standard Windows um, Explorer box and just for the sake of test I'm going to pull the file from another directory and I'm going to do open and at this point that file should be opened and if I want to give it just a second it is saying it is still uploading so we'll let that run And it is done. And you can see that my file has now been uploaded. The same process is done uh, when you are working with uh, a folder as well, you would just click on the folder you wanted to upload and then you would upload that. Now, uh, you can also do this from Windows Explorer. For instance, I am currently syncing this directory in my, uh, to my PC. So if I open up Windows Explorer and I can come over to Sales, which is where we were at, and I can click on videos now 
number one, I should see my PNG, which I do, and you see that it is in the cloud only um, because of this little icon right here. Anything with the green check mark is synced to both my PC and to the cloud. So if I double click this, it will download the file to my PC. which is what it's doing right now. And it is downloaded. Uh, that icon should change here in just a second to a green uh, check mark. And here's the photo as it's opened. Additionally, if I needed to upload a file to uh, this directory, I could come over here and click on, say, pictures. And now that my pictures have opened up, I can click on this file right here. And I could do a uh, copy, which is control C, or I could right click and do uh, control C and I can come back over to cells and I could come back over to videos. And I can do a paste or a control V, which is also a paste and upload a file using File Explorer this way. And right now it is copying into the directory and it is already synced up with the cloud. And if I want to check that, I can bounce I can minimize this screen right here. And I can see that that file has been loaded. Uh, this is how, when you think you're missing files, you would go to the source, uh, whether it's Google Drive, Dropbox, etc. cetera. Uh, you could either download it to your machine uh, or do a copy paste. Uh, typically that works, especially if you have the Google Drive app or the D Dropbox app, you will just be able to copy and paste from that, that folder into the folder that you're syncing or upload uh, using SharePoint Online or Teams. The process is the same regardless of which application that you use or the method in which you are pasting or doing the upload to. All right, I appreciate your time today and yeah, I hope this video helps.